All right, hello, second graders. So the last time we read the book, um, Fleshman officially quit. He was done. He didn't want to put up with Lulu anymore. She wasn't being very nice to him, and he quit. So now we're on another timeout. Timeout. I think that I need to mention that by this time, Lulu and Fleshman were quite late for school. But although for several hours, they weren't where they should have been, not one single person noticed they weren't there. Not Lulu's teacher, not Fleshman's teacher, not any of their classmates, no one. Plus, nobody walking down the street, and lots of people were, seemed to notice that Lulu was tied to a tree. And not just tied to a tree, but wiggling and yelling and making quite a remarkable fuss. In actual life, this almost could never happen. In the stories I write, things like this happen a lot, so just deal with it. Oh, and I think I should mention that by this time, Pookie had fallen sound asleep, let go of Lulu's jacket, and dropped to the grass, where she was curled in a tight fuzzball and yawned a great big yawn and kept on sleeping. The junk pile with, oh, sorry, and that Cordelia, bored with hiding under the junk pile with nobody trying to find her, wasn't much fun, waddled over to Pookie, flopped down beside her, and soon was snoring very loudly in German. And that Brutus, his heavy head drooping lower and lower, was just as deep asleep as the rest of them, except for Lulu, of course, who was wide awake and still screaming, get back here, Fleshman, now! Chapter 21. Fleshman got back there. Okay, I'll untie you, Fleshman said to Lulu, but only if you'll explain how come you hate me. Oh, I can do that, said Lulu. That'll be easy. And then she gave him 10 different explanations. You're always eating carrots. You never eat anything that's bad for you. Your sneakers look like they just came out of the store. You can play an actual flute instead of a toy flute. You wear an ugly t-shirt that says, I'm here to bring some happiness into your life. I didn't mention this earlier because that t-shirt makes me want to throw up too. You have this really, really annoying smile. You keep saying things like you can speak German and French. You keep saying things like, I'm honored and thrilled to serve you. You got a day off of school because you're so smart. You're a total expert on dogs and you don't even have a dog. All the moms and dads in the world think you're perfect and maybe you are. And how can a person not hate a person who's perfect? Okay, so I made a mistake. Lulu gave him 11 explanations. But forget about that right now. I'm anxious to hear what Fleshman will say. Aren't you? And that's the end of that chapter and where we're going to stop. Oh boy, I wonder what's going to happen next. We'll have to see it next time.